Hey, good morning guys. Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound. I wanted to take a moment to talk about rotated die error coins and why they're, number one, uh, pretty rare. They're probably one of the most rarest errors that you could find out there in circulation today. Now, I have in front of me, way in the distance, uh, that thing looks small, uh, actually a new acquisition. And um, this is actually going in my Mid-State 61 NGC white, uh, what we call uh, soap bar slab. Um, uh, this is a 1923 piece dollar that says rotated dies. And uh, I just, I had to add this one to my uh, MS61 collection of piece dollars. And if we flip this puppy over doing what we call the coin turn, you'll see that the reverse is uh, rotated clockwise by about 75 degrees. This is what is considered uh, an in in incredible rotation on a coin. Uh, normally, when you flip a coin over coin-wise, now I'll actually go to show you the difference between a coin turn and a medallic turn. Uh, but when you have anything above 45 degrees, which is uh, one-eighth of the entire, I guess, um, circumference of the coin by degrees, uh, you have something that's pretty significant. So this is actually a very, very radical rotated die errors. Uh, you know, normally the coin should be like this, right? When you flip it over on a coin rotation. All right, so here is a normal piece dollar. Uh, it's actually in this, uh, this uh, cointainer dealio here. But when you hold your fingers at the three and nine o'clock positions on the coin, let me go ahead and get my light a little bit better here for you. Um, in U.S. coinage, generally when you flip north-south like so, like this, you'll have something called a coin turn, all right? And that's the way that these coins were originally produced, is to have that coin turn. And, um, you know, some would say that, you know, when you flip a coin, you know, you're going to see the coin flip and then see just the, the same image on the front and back, um, you know, uh, right side up. Uh, but this is what's commonly referred to as a coin turn. This is what you normally see on U.S. coins. Here's an example of a medallic turn. Uh, this is a one ounce silver Poseidon. I believe this is a uh, Tuvalu or one of the other um, mints that, that did this one. But usually world mint coins will have a medallic turn, okay? So let's say if you're wearing like a... Uh, um, a metal around your neck, all right, and it's hanging right there on your chest. You could flip the metal left to right, and it would show the uh, the same orientation of both of the obverse and reverse designs. So in this case, I'm holding the coin at the 12 and 6 o'clock position on the coin, and when I go to flip it over like so, the image is right side up. All right, so that is uh, that is what they call the medallic turn, and um, you know, uh, usually for world coins, that that's where that would apply. So let's take an opportunity to take a look at a few coins uh, that are much more newer than the piece dollar that have sold for quite a bit of money. And here's the biggest reason why you will want to actually grade these coins because normally I'm not an advocate for grading errors because they kind of speak for themselves. But there are certain errors I would say definitely grade them out and they have their benefits. Here's what Okay, they are. so I believe the uh the the best best reason why you should grade any sort of rotated die coins is obviously to help sell it. Um speaking from experience, I I think trying to take quality uh images of a rotated die error on a raw coin is extremely challenging if for the only fact that you're trying to um, accurately you know tell the story that you do indeed have a um, rotated die error like for instance we're on eBay right now and there's a couple really solid sales the big obvious you know thing about what we're seeing so far the first couple coins these are already in slabs and you know, like I had mentioned before, all right, anything with a, uh, a rotated die of about 45 degrees or greater is going to um, garner the most amount of interest on the secondary market. It's because they are more dramatic enough of a rotation 
that people do want them. And it's, it's one of those errors that, yeah, uh, error collectors do buy them, uh, you know, to assemble not only, um, denomination type sets, but they also do date sets. Uh, rotated dies are actually quite common in the Morgan and Peace Dollar series. You know, just thinking back of how, um, how, antiquated the method of manufacture of these coins were in the late 1800s and early 1900s you could see why that you know rotated dice could be a uh, a little bit more common but like i had said before they're still quite rare in comparison to say some of the other more common errors like lamination peels and um uh, uh misaligned dies and even off center struck coins you can make the argument that it's as rare as some of those as well so if we look at this 1921d morgan silver dollar right here that grades ngc mid state 62 has rotated dies on reverse um if this coin in fact has well it doesn't it doesn't say rotated dies on there so uh, this is probably a bad example um here's a great example 1889 o morgan dollar rotated die 70 degrees just like that um that piece dollar i showed you this is an annex ef 45 so it's an extremely fine 45 that's a pretty solid grade uh and keep in mind at this particular grade you got to figure that it was cherry picked out of bulk morgan dollars and that's that's where people are having the most amount of success in uncovering some of these rotated die errors so the reason why that it's easier to sell these coins in a graded holder number one it's attributed right on the label i mean that that's that's dummy proof right there but in terms of actually looking at the physical coin um if if and only if the seller puts both sides of the coin on there if you look at the obverse it's it's oriented correctly up and down normal uh, but when you go to the second picture, it actually gives you the rotation respective to where it is on the back of the holder. Um, and this right here accurately displays just the tremendous amounts of rotation on this coin. This looks very much like my peace dollar. It's got that kind of like 70 degree rotation. And that's what people like to see. It, it, you know, grading it is kind of half the battle. It, like the, the hard work's already been done you just have to sell it and generally when people see actually i'm adding this to my watch list because i'm just interested in seeing how much this one will sell for it's got two days left um something like this not only will it be easier to sell but you'll make more money and it doesn't matter what grader you go to you just got to make sure you pay for that error attribution um so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of raw coins like here's a couple right here now this could this 1925d lincoln cent could very well be a legitimate rotated dies error however the problem is is that you really don't know unless you do some mirroring tricks or if you did something like this where they actually use the two by two um and some people the problem with using the two by two with the the guidelines or the grid lines is that there are a number of people that don't quite understand how it works all right, so that's the full obverse picture. Here's the full reverse. And they've actually used the grid lines. All right, so they use these two guidelines here at the top and bottom, the north-south position of that 2x2 two two holder to show a counterclockwise rotation of roughly about 25 degrees. Uh, this is considered minor, uh, especially on much older coins like this, where you're going to see quite a good deal of rotated die error coins um especially in the teens and 20s they're actually quite prevalent so 25 degrees is minor um you know they're asking seven dollars and then four dollars for shipping um it's really going to be really up to the buyer to to you know to dictate if this is going to be a worthwhile buy uh me personally it's not my cup of tea um uh, grade's not high enough the rotation's not you know good enough now believe it or not where you're going to see some of the most valuable rotated dies are actually on modern coins and here's here's the big reason why with modern coin production there comes an element of what i would like to say is higher quality 
better quality control. Uh, you know, those those mint employees are actually examining the dice. They're inspecting it. And um, when they do that, they will know right away if the, you know, the, the um, anvil die is rotated. All right. So um, in theory, much newer coins, and especially this is a proof 1973S. I mean, these are some of the highest quality coins the U.S. Mint has ever made. And again, this is this is a no-brainer. This one absolutely must be in a graded holder. NGC proof 68 star. So it's got a little eye appeal. It says cameo. It looks like it. Rotated dies. Um, the reverse, there you go. Look at that. That that rotation is probably like 100 degrees. That's insane. And as a uh, error collector that specializes in rotated dies, this is like a crown jewel for a collection. $525 is how much this will eventually sell for. And look who's selling it. Sullivan Numismatics, only probably one of the biggest error dealers on the face of this planet so you're getting a legitimate coin he knows the market and um you know these modern coins contrary to popular belief are a lot tougher to find rotated die errors because of that quality control component to the processes all right so that is a few of the coins uh that you know, um, like this one right here, 1861, three cents silver, 180 degree rotated die. When the coin is raw, it's really hard to illustrate if it's really, truly rotated. All right. There are people that sell coins that aren't familiar with not only rotated dies, but are probably pretty new to coin collecting. So they will post something and, and, uh, fraudulently try and get one over on the seller by offering a coin as a rotated die when it's really not because the pictures were only like two pictures like this. Now, great Southern coins, I have no doubt, uh, you know, they, they are, they've been around for a while and they have a return policy and uh, all that great stuff. So, you know, their, uh, their name speaks for themselves, obviously. Uh, but this is pretty incredible right here. It's at $134. Um, but what I also wanted to do was, take a look at great collections uh sold listings and i put in rotated dives here in the search field in their archives and they sell quite a few of them but you know you'll look at this list um and and find out that these coins have a tremendous amount of value now the most modern of coins on the list is going to be this 1982 jefferson nickel however it's an AU55. It's not a very high grade. This one sold for $26. And if we looked at the back of the coin, this one has a rotation of about 45 degrees. All right, which again, that's kind of like the, the minimum point of rotation that is desirable, more desirable to collectors than anything like under that, like a 10, 10 degree or 20 or 30. Um, those are all relatively minor. So this is on the most minimum of rotations that you want to collect. And, you know, aside from the grade and the 45 degree rotation, that's why it only sold for $26. Um, finding something that's like 60, 70 degrees in rotation and higher is going to be your sweet spot for collectability. Here's a 1988 Kennedy half dollar. Uh, this particular example shows rotated dies on the slab. And as you can see here, this one is also rather minor. This one probably looks like it has like a 20, 25 degree rotation. But if you look at the price, still sold for $196, which that's, that's quite a bit of money. But it's also a nice high grade too. It's a mid-state 66. Uh, here's a 2007P. Uh, John Adams presidential dollar with rotated dies this one is an ngc mid state 64 that sold for 71 dollars uh so there's the obverse of the coin that looks like it's got a little chip in the holder too and here is the reverse and actually that's 90 degrees right there so um that ladies and gentlemen is an incredibly eye appealing coin for a rotated dies collector and when you see stuff like this this is a no-brainer to put into encapsulation because, you know, when it's this high grade and you have a 90-degree rotation on the reverse, 
it, it's eye appealing and people are going to collect it. The only knock against this coin personally is that it's a presidential dollar. All right. It, they, they're not widely collected as you would think. Um, it's got its fringe audience, I would say. And that's, you know, if this was any other denomination or even if it was just a Native American dollar, one of the later dated uh, Sacagawea renditions, this would probably sell for about double the amount of money that this one did. So again, it's all about popularity as well. Uh, let's take a look at one more modern coin. Ooh, this is a good one right here. Uh, a relatively new 2015D Jefferson Nickel. Now this one exhibits 135 degree rotated dies error. It's a PCGS Mid-State 65. And take a look at that amount of money it sold for. Almost 150 bucks. I would venture to guess by the time you add in like shipping and all that, it's going to be well over 150 anyways. Uh, but this is a PCGS graded, nice grade. And then this rotation is just nuts. There you go. Keep in mind, look at the orientation of the slab. Okay, it should be upside down to show the incredible 135 degree rotation. So I think great collections, they they should have done the, uh, uh, took a picture of the slab upside down the way it was intended if you were going to do a coin turn. Um, so this, this reverse image, the hologram should be down here, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that is truly 135 degree rotated die error. Uh, 150 bucks and that's just that's the true potential of finding one of these errors believe it or not they are all over the brand new coins going all the way up to the 2021 i believe i did a uh, pocket change market report video where someone had sold a 2021 i would have to say it was either the tuskegee airmen quarter or it was the um god what do you call it the uh, jefferson nickel that had a rotate, rotated die of like 120 degrees or something like that. That ended up selling for a few hundred dollars. Uh, this was a while ago, probably like three, four months ago. Um, but yeah, these, these coins, if you're able to find them, and if you, if you, I, I know, you know, if you need to sell this coin raw, there are specific like um, photo taking tricks that you could use, uh, kind of like a hack, I guess where you use a mirror to, you know, to show not only the obverse of the coin, but with the mirror kind of canted over to the side in that image shot where you could see the reverse. People do have some success um, portraying the rotated dies for sale. So that's what I wanted to talk about is rotated dies. Uh, they are quite collectible. I've done this video before, but this is more of an in-depth look because I have a really great example to show you uh, that I purchased last week. Uh, actually, I got from Great Collections, and it's going to be one that's going to be in my collection forever. Um, but as you can see, the, uh, the potential is far and wide. You can find these coins all over the place in your pocket change. I mean, it truly is a pocket change treasure. Um, you know, you could easily make 20 bucks. You can make a hundred dollars. You can make $200, um, for all you half, half dollar, uh, roll searchers. All right. Half dollars with rotated dies are some of the most valuable errors that you could come across. Now keep in mind, um, you could pull out coins with like a, a, a very minor 15 to 20 degree rotation out of a roll and it would still be worth a little bit of money, you know, five to 10 bucks for some of those minor rotated dies because there are people that do collect them and they buy them. Um, you just can't retire off of them right yet. But when you uh, find your first like 60, 70, 90 degree and then higher rotated dies, that's where it begins to get fun. Like, whoa, I found one. I want to keep finding more and then just continue just to, to uh, hammer in some of these uh these sales uh me personally i they're neat but if i did find them in circulation guess what they're gonna go right directly back out into the um the secondary market world for sure uh sorry about that <laughs> but anyways that's gonna go ahead and do it i'm your host sean with blue ridge silverhound stay tuned for a very important announcement where we are going to have uh, probably one of the greatest guests on video uh, through the live coin Q&A channel. Uh, we are going to have an error expert 
on to talk about not only his newest book, but to also kind of talk about fake errors as well, counterfeit errors that, that their um, unscrupulous individuals are uh, throwing out into the marketplace. You, you know, the, the amount of information that uh, this specialist is going to be talking about on this um, episode of the live coin Q&A, which will occur in about one and a half weeks uh, at the end of the month. Um, will be invaluable information. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. I will do an official kickoff video for that event. But that's it, guys. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Root Silverhound. Um, as always, Coinholics, we are discovering together. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you on the next coin video. Happy hunting.